Okay, guys, after that, uh, hectic battle with Monsoon, we finally make it <laughs> to World Marshal HQ. Sundowner is congratulating us on killing that guy, because he does not give a fuck about what anything happens anymore. <laughs> oh, you're just inviting us to get in there? Oh, shut up! That damn invisible wall, I'm gonna have to fight something, darn I. Oh, well, what could it possibly be? Ah, oh, just more generics. Ugh. These guys are annoying. At least they're easily cut apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do. These guys think they're so tough. I mean, look at this shit. They're being cut apart like nobody's business. Damn projectile attacks. Give me a fucking break here. Uh, uh, damn it! What the hell they got with all these rocket? Okay, I'm getting really pissed off now. Which is gonna be easy for killing all these dogs. Let's go! 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 Come on! Give me a break here. Okay, we got this now. Is I think these things are nothing. Of course, a uh, missed opportunity to get a free of blade mode killing. And just need a little power up, and then we can take on the other one. It'll be really easy now. It doesn't have a gun on it. And most of its armor fell off. Hey, at least this is the most. This isn't the most terrible fight I've ever had in this game. Obviously, I've had worse, especially involving those gorilla robots. Uh, finish up the right, security robot, and now we can listen to Doctor. Door. Time to make your way up there. Thanks for the obvious, Doctor. As always, you are about as useful as a codec partner can get. I can't. I can't believe that World Marshal has these on fucking display. It might be. Yeah, as you can see, um, environmental destruction physics are still an arse to deal with. Hmm. Apparently I forgot to grab the healing item on my record. But whatever. I'm sure that I can deal without it considering I have four of them. Come on, let me download. Come on, stupid glass. Get out of my way! There, now we can get this. Another pointless VR mission that I'm never gonna play, because I'm getting to the end of the game. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Hell, you you by Ryan's elevator, standards, we should be able to just wall jump Ooh, up the elevator shaft without idea. nobody's by business but our own. Hmm? Well, it looks like we're gonna have to play a little Defender Ball to get to the other side, which, uh, of course I don't like. Wait, they're actually not letting us get over there. Well, that is fucking stupid. Ooh, did I finally notice it? Um, I'll probably get it later. When I, you know, just... Just have the time to, because right now I'm getting shot. By a slider. Fucking sliders. They're so freaking great. Good thing I did... Good thing I kept all these rockets, because apparently they came in handy. Damn it! Screw you, and your shields, and I hate you, and everything else about it. Stop having shields! You freaking annoying bastards who are only here to slow me the fuck down. I am not doing good at those point time events. Why? I'm slashing apart the guys who are actually trying to get me. Why is that guy even throwing grenades? They don't have the range to get me. Oh, F you, dude. I hate you. This 
entire mission is turning butt fuck awful pretty damn fast. Hmm. I guess no one else is here. Oh, there might be that one guy over there. I can't really see that well. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, we finally done here. No, there's another guy over there. And, and the one over there, and there, the and there, and there, and there, and blah 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 blah. Stupid. Dumb. I hate security these defender purposes. calls. The building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors. Which is kind of like pointless considering we're literally destroying the office building from bottom up. To the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. Of course you it can. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So we'll just have so, to cut our way through like we're the supposed only to. The is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy There is literally no point in telling us that one of them was a backup power in supply. Any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor. Because it doesn't freaking matter! Plus, why is our only help coming from Doctor? Are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Well, let's get in there, I guess. Ah, the security gate. It is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high-frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been cut. Of course, it won't be that simple. Hello, didn't stop me from trying. Just gotta get my bearings quick. <laughs> Fuck doors! I'm fucking riding! <laughs> There's an item box. Who the hell's that guy? Where is he going? No, oh, he's just cautious. Damn it, I screwed it up! No choice now! Yeah, there isn't one. What the hell's up with his arm? Also, why are they the ones screaming RPG? Uh, did they really all have to be the armored dudes? And of course, the quick time event to get unstunned is completely ridiculous and terrible. Why are their arms the one? Literally, that's the only part of this thing that's completely armored. Huh? Actually, did a lot of damage. Are they hitting themselves? They are hitting themselves. Damn it! I didn't get the arm. Oh fuck, it's a robot! Just gotta slash on the part, get a quick quick time event, and uh completely miss it. Because of fuck off. Huh. So River Blade also gets me back all my health. That's good to know. Huh, I actually got it done quickly, which is awesome, considering. Just gotta take care of this dwarf gecko, because these things have to be piloted by something. Now, just have to quickly finish off the power supplies and we're going free. 
And let me tell you that this mission was completely buttfuck awful, just because of that one robot. There should just be like an fucks everything up, Use your enhanced because uh, who it. gives a crap if things have to be easy or hard, because apparently the defense for this game is just terrible. Good. One down, two to go. It is. It is terrible. There should be it couldn't have been intuitively nearby. done, but apparently we have to deal with that. Because uh, they couldn't give us a shield or a block button. We just have to hope for the best. Excellent. Just one more. Hmm. And keep on coming. What? Why? Damn it, I'm more robots. Fucking robots. The good thing about these robots is if you cut them off on the legs, they're pretty much useless. Damn it, die already! This is what happens when you give an enemy too much health. They just sit there and take it, and it's pointless time wasted. There should be an electrical well, panel there it nearby. Is. Use your enhanced AR to okay, locate it. Okay, Doctor, you really don't have to yes. tell me something so completely obvious at the your... end of a mission. Now, back to the gate. Although, I can't really dislike Doctor. It's kind of fun. Uh, he dropped his hammer? Just die already! You have no arms! <laughs> you look like a shell of a man. Didn't do too bad. Got a B. Oh, uh, what do you need now? Should I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you... I would be understandably confused as well if I was in Doctor's uh, shoes. What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... What? This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, that was but, just uh, really confusing. Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Even yes. in his emotionally disturbed state, well, slightly disturbed state, he's still focused on the betterment of the humanity, which is actually pretty admirable for what it does. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Of course it's crazy. We have to deal with this shit. Not exactly the thing I want to deal with. Stop going on! Okay, let's go. Enough screwing around. Although, I'm sure that in some way all these guys that we're ignoring to kill are just gonna come back later. Really flashy sequence. I'm impressed. Now, unfortunately, this episode is going to be a little longer than usual because, well, if I cut it apart, they'd be two 15-minute episodes, and I don't really want to do that, so here's a half-hour episode, you know, ten minutes into this one. Just to say that. What do you think, audience? Is, uh, this getting serious? Story's finally getting underway because the final plot mission is almost done. These guys have literally no propensity for stopping us. And, and still the thing I don't understand is why are they destroying their own building just to kill me? Where is your logic in this? Destroy a garage? Oh, that's simple enough, considering this thing is not armored like the boss garage that we've already taken care of. All these sliders in the area. Wait, did it just explode? Well, How was that even possible? 
must have been like the worst grod in the history of military development. Yeah, let's just do some slider jumping. It, it'll make sense. Let's go! Oh, we're Keep wall running, like aren't that. we? It'll be much easier for you. Because, yeah. Oh, shit, I screwed it up. Well, that stinks. Okay, let's try again. Well, the margin for error on this is pretty freaking small. Because if you get hit by anything, you're freaking done. As you can see. Oh, I could jump. Well, that would have been good to know. Wow, Ryan, you are definitely the anime character that the game made you out to be, that's for sure. Ah, oh, see, game, why do you hate me? Up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. An indoor garden. garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with of me? Of course, I had to be a There's Japanese culture enthusiast because this is a Japanese you game. You pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, <laughs> really, really, you have to do a freaking Sherlock Holmes reference, didn't you, you weirdo? Oh, another ambush, huh? Now let's get through it. The defense is worth about two wet biscuits. Still as useless as ever. For some reason. Why not just give it a button? It's a defend command. We'd obviously use it. Morons. But no, we just have to deal with this bad system handed to us for no freaking reason. Oh, I got all three of them in that attack. Well, that's nice. Oh, and of course, one of them has an RPG launcher because who gives a f This entire mission has just been freaking constant, constant ass fuck difficulty, and it pisses me off because, well, obviously it does. At least the Jack the Ripper mode just gives me an easy way to kill people. Probably have to utilize that more often. Probably would have made this a lot easier, but I kind of forgot I could do that, so who gives a crap? Why are you not dead yet? Seriously, that guy got cut like freaking 20 times. It's ridiculous how he did it. Although now this defend command is starting to get a little easier to use. You know, it's actually easier to combo these guys into little pieces. And, of course, the delay that these stupid force fields have is completely pointless and pissing me off. Thankfully, I discovered that going this way is actually the easier option because guess what? On the other side of this, gorilla robots. Yeah, gorilla robots. Fuck them. Or I could have just easily forgotten about that. Eh. See, obviously this wasn't the way to go because they got a guy stationed. Like, immediately right there, so if you go this way, they automatically get you. Yeah, just give me my health back. It'll make it easier. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk come on, come on, Ninja Run, give me over there. For transporting materials. You can okay, I'll just go this way. Elevator. See if I can sneak my way over. Nope. Now I gotta deal with the stupid this thing. Huh. Apparently I activated Ripper Boat at exactly the right time because these guys are not putting up much of a fight when they're dazed, obviously. How dazed are you gonna be? Nope. You cut off their arms and make them essentially useless. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, what happens when you get like three people trying to kick your ass at the same fucking time? Oh, and it doesn't change the fact that these guys can deal 20% of damage for no frickin' reason. This mission is just completely unfair, and just there to frickin' make me ruin my own sanity. I hate this fight. Which is why I thought I snuck over, but apparently didn't. Uh, apparently I'm a forgetful spot. But what? Yep, cutting my way through is always an option because this isn't a Metal Gear Solid game. Nope, door is not cuttable. Damn it, I missed the item box. Come on, Brain, you gotta frickin' notice these things. All right, follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. Oh, it's no problem, Blade Wolf. I barely need Actually, your help through this I entire mission you. because I replayed it after learning about? how to use the defense. For you, Thanks, Internet. I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. I thought you couldn't even think because, uh, you know, I'll erase your brain if you try to think about it. But apparently not. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You can't. Everyone's weaker than Ryan. He's trying to protect the entire universe. Every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Really? Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? Well, However, that depends on what you do to get into the superhero business. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. Yeah, keep talking in that it's stupid, gruff voice that does not sound like it should be coming from you at all! Seriously. So what's next? Oh, another enemy ambush, because we haven't had enough of those today. Damn it, he saw me. Ah, it's another stupid ass, stupid, giant armored guy with a fucking hammer! Because these guys aren't annoying enough. I learned a little bit about the defense, like I said, before I came back into this mission. Because you should have seen me when I was doing awfully at it. I mean, I'll tell you that I had to do this freight elevator attempt more than fucking ten times, because what they throw at you? One of those hammer-wielding armored dudes, and two gorilla robots at the same fucking time! Are you kidding me? That is fucking just dismal, and there to just beat the player down with completely unfair challenges just to be a fucking bitch about it. Of course it's not, you just got your arm chopped off, you know. Doesn't change the fact that this could have easily been fixed if they did defense as a button instead of a stupid combat move. How they fucking block a button? It's not that hard. Oh, and now for the freight elevator. You'll see what I mean when I get into this and see that it's buttfuck awful for a person who really doesn't know how to defend himself using this terrible defense system. Make it intuitive, guys. Making blocking difficult is only gonna frickin' piss people off, especially when you're getting into the, the later levels. Can't talk today. And we're trying to defend ourselves against guys who can do 20% damage with every attack. Which reminds me, I should probably buy more health when I get into the customization options. Yeah, this isn't the hard part. These are just the fairly easy generics. Oh no, it's a gecko. Contrary to popular belief, these guys weren't actually all that bad. Uh, they were 
fairly easily gotten rid of, actually. See, if you just had blocking to a button instead of, you know, just a combat option, it would have been a lot easier. But no, we have to go through this terrible system. I don't know what else to say about it. It's terrible. Maybe if I also maybe if I also learned about Ripper Mode during my last playthrough, I would have been able to effectively use it a little better. But you know, I'm not complaining. Well, I am complaining, but not about this. Finally, get me some healing items. Maybe I'll go into, yep, go into Ripper Bone and just slash the damn guy apart. Maybe Ripper Mode wasn't so effective in the Monsoon Battle because you had it constantly on. If you have something constantly on that alters your damage, then you get used to that damage system. Maybe. But Monsoon was still terrible. Another freight platform. <laughs> Why am I jumping? <laughs> just jumping. Jump, the jump, be jump, be jump. Look out! Incoming! What should I... Oh, a couple of shield dudes. Yeah, their shields aren't all that tough, man. I can cut through them and then just blade road those guys apart like they're nothing. Yep, there you go. Oh, and another one of those fucking robots! Wait, did I throw that guy into the air? God, you hit like fucking nothing, you bitch. Hate, hate, and self-medicate. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was a terrible rhyme. Oh, a couple of the blade wolf knockoffs. Sure. Man, blade mode just chops through these guys. Ah, another C game. Why do you hate my guts? What are they doing? Oh, come on! Who put an explosive charge there? On a fucking freight elevator. A single one, too! So they're not delivering them in mass quantities, that was just there! Maybe maybe some lazy world marshal employee just figured they'd keep it out of inventory because who gives a fuck anymore? Yeah, let's just chop this guy apart and get on it. We have heard virtually nothing from our encounter with Monsoon. Virtually nothing. Right now we've just turned into a monster. Yeah, let's just get this out of here. Careful, Raiden. The elevator cannot take much more of this. And of course it the platform. Hey guys, watch this. The platform is losing speed. Watch this. See, um, this thing is going to explode very soon. But guess when it explodes? The immediate second that you get off it, no matter what. <laughs> Look at that. The immediate second. Ooh, an S rank. That's nice. This was the part of the mission that I had to redo ten times! Because a bunch of sliders come out of fucking nowhere, and then this guy. I mean, this guy is the easiest part of the fight to even just get done. And apparently it was a lot easier if I had the freaking option to go into Ripper Mode. But whatever. Yeah, they're aerial, and they shoot a bunch of fucking missiles all the time, making it very hard to actually hit them. And let me tell you, First attempt, I was doing this on one healing item. I had one. One freaking healing item. Oh, and here's another fun thing. When the gorilla robots inevitably come into the fray, guess how they come into the fray? They jump on top of your fucking head! Because that's fair. What the hell, guys? Why am I even looking? What? Who put this mission together and decided? See, look at that. Who decided that this was smart? Who, in their fucking right mind, decided to throw two gorilla robots at you at the same freaking time with a defense that doesn't work and just freaking infuriates me? I had to do that stupid quick time left stick thing more times than I can fucking remember. It 
fuck out. See, that thing can take it for 20% damage. And guess what? You would all, I would have lost one healing item just dealing with the fucking hammer guy. So these two are just freaking difficult for the sake of free freaking difficult. Think you're shitting through before you throw a bunch of hard ass generics at a person because you think that that's how the game works. No, if you think like that, then you fucking don't understand how your fucking game works. Thank God that was over. I couldn't tell you how glad I was to get out of that stupid ass generic pile up just because they decided to make it fucking difficult for no freaking reason. Okay, I'm done with my rant because guess ahead? what? Beyond yeah. that door well, is our actual boss here. fight for this what mission. I to and I need to save that for my let's beat videos, like trains. I always I'm say. So like let's just listen IT to Doctor and uh, right. I'll just Most be here like thanking you for watching this video. Uh, we're People getting to the end because we are running out of big name characters. Because, uh, guess what? On the other side of this, we actually take down Sundowner. Wink, wink. So, that's actually not such a bad fight. I would check it out if I were you, because it is fun, and it is interesting seeing what they did with the Sundowner boss fight, because it kind of goes against what he was originally designed to do. And I just talked over everything Doctor said. Essentially, he's explain to Raiden why they call it the VR training room because it's not to tip off the lower ranking employees down there and then tip off the media. Besides, it wouldn't even matter because World Marshal runs the entire police corps and probably a bunch of police for the actual country and blah 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 blah. Yep, Sundowner's on the other side. Um, so, yeah. The video is actually coming towards an end, so let's just finish listening to Doctor, and uh, I'll wish you a fun time. Yeah, Sundowner would do that, because he's got the swagger of Fat Man, along with the potential. The potential he did with... Okay, guys, I'm gonna open this door, and, uh, that's it. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's actually two doors. Sorry, guys. It's actually two doors. They had to give me another thingamajig. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around the Let's Beat video. Thanks.